Okay, you guys, we're going to work one more problem uh, dealing with similar, with the same concept, just a little more calculation. We'll go into getting our total net realizable value. Let's look at exercise 9.3 on page 509. The inventory of Royal Decking consisted of five products. Information about the December 31st, 2016 inventory is as follows. And they've been very creative with their product names too, uh, as have the other two. We have A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. No, excuse me. A, B, C, D, E. Here we go. Sorry for the bad jokes. I'll stop. Okay, so we've got product A, B, C, D, E. Okay, the cost for product A is $40 per unit. Okay, now here's where it gets a little tricky. The selling price is $60, but we want the net realizable value, which is the selling price less cost to sell. So it's going to be equal to $60 minus a couple of things here. I think we can bracket it like this, $60 minus, okay. Cost to sell consists only of a sales commission equal to 10% of the selling price. Okay, so that's going to be 60 times 0.1. So that was our 60 was our selling price. And we also want to subtract out 5% of cost. Well, cost was 40 times 0 0.05. And we'll see if I got that formula correct. What we're doing here, you guys, is the sales price 60 minus 10% of the sales price, that's your sales commission, minus 5% of cost, which is shipping, and that would give us our total net realizable value. Hmm. Okay, let's see, let's try this instead of the other ones. There we go. 52. I just need to use the rounded brackets rather than the squared ones. Okay, well, which of the two is lower? $40 cost is lower than the $52 net realizable value, so we'll go with 40 here. Okay, our cost on B $90. Okay, let's see if we can do the formula correctly this time. We want to take our sales price, which is 100, and subtract our sales price times 10%, which is the uh, sales commission. And we also want to subtract cost, which was 90, times 5%, uh, which is the shipping cost, and we get 86 as the net realizable value, which is less than 90, so we'll go with 86 here per unit. Okay, on C, and you probably got these figured out for yourself by now, but on C the cost was 40. The net realizable value is going to be equal to the sales price, which is 80, minus the sales price times 10%, also minus cost, which was 40, times 5%. So our original sales price 80 minus the 10% sales commission minus 5% of cost for shipping 
that gives us a net realizable value of 70. Here the cost was quite a bit lower, so we'll go with the 40. The cost on D is 100. The net realizable value would be equal to 100 minus 100 times 10%, which is going to be 10, of course, so let's put it in this way, minus cost, excuse me, you see my error? I was using the 100 cost as my sales price here. That will not work. So let's try again. Start back with D. Cost on D is 100. The net realizable value would be equal to the sales price, 130, not 100, sorry for the error there, minus the sales price times 10%. Sales price surely wouldn't be the same as cost, right? Can't stay in business like that. And then we're going to also subtract out shipping charges, which are 5% of the cost. So 130 our sales price minus the sales commission which is 10% of the sales price minus the shipping charges which is 5% of cost. So our net realizable value is 112. Cost is lower so I'll pick it up over here. Okay and then on E cost is $20. Net realizable value would be the sales price thirty dollars minus thirty dollars times ten percent. Sales price times ten percent minus cost, which was twenty times point zero five. And there we end up with twenty six. Two there is definitely your cost, 20. Okay, so that takes us, I feel like, pretty well through that topic. Uh, again, uh, it's important to use the lower of the two, either cost, which is what we would normally use. But in rare situations where the sales price has fallen below cost, or sales less uh, directly associated selling expenses for that piece of inventory, uh, which we call net realizable value. When the net realizable value has fallen below cost, then we want to report the inventory at its net realizable value again, so as not to overstate the value of our inventory and be misleading to the reader. Okay, you guys, I think you should be fine with that exercise 9-3 on the Connect Plus site. Good luck, and please be in touch if you have questions. Thanks.